Behind us are the new congressional maps for Missouri and St. Louis. These maps are now headed to Governor Mike Parson's desk after the Missouri Senate came to an agreement after weeks of deliberations. Our Missouri Chief Capitol Bureau reporter Emily Manley joins us live now from Jefferson City with more on how this deal was struck in the Senate. Emily, what a busy day. Oh my goodness, Shirley, let me tell you, I, I need to say first off that this actually started all back in January, this whole map debate. And tonight, the Senate managed to pass it 24 hours before the end of session in just a couple of hours. Now, the most craziest part besides the map, the Senate actually adjourned for session, meaning they're not coming back tomorrow. Session is set to end, according to the Constitution, by tomorrow night at 6. But after the map was done today, there was enough senators that said there's nothing else that we need to do because we have our constitutional duty of drawing this map done. Let me tell you a little bit about this map. It's pretty similar to what we have already in effect. It's something that has to be done every 10 years after the census, and it depends on who represents you in Congress. Now, it does keep two military bases, Whiteman Air Force Base and Fort Leonard Wood, together. In the St. Louis area, though, St. Charles County is split a little bit more than what it already is now. And then on top of it, out in Jackson County, they do have that Democrat seat, but more of Jackson County is actually split between three districts. Now, since the House passed this earlier this week and the Senate did it this evening, now it's headed to the governor's desk. Actually, Missouri was one of the last states in the nation to be able to accomplish this. The only other states that haven't done it actually had theirs kicked out by the courts for it not being constitutional. Now, there is a chance that could happen here in the state of Missouri, but lawmakers on both sides of the aisle feel pretty confident that this is the map that Governor Mike Parson is going to sign. One final note to mention, though, it's going to be kind of a fight to the finish for county clerks. The reason why is because they have to have voters moved into their new districts within the next six days, because that's when they start printing the ballots off for the August election. I know I'm throwing a lot at you but it's been a busy day here inside the Missouri Capitol. And the biggest thing this session for you to know that the Senate did manage to get their constitutional duty done of passing a map before the end of session deadline. And they are done for the remainder of session. Reporting live tonight from Missouri State Capitol Bureau in Jefferson City, I'm Emily Manley, Fox 2 News.